Hello everyone. In this video, we will continue to solve our fractional equation. Before I get started with this uh, fractional equation, I would like to remind everyone that in solving for a fractional equation, the denominator is the key because it's, it is a fraction, right? So there's fraction involved. Then the denominator that you see in the equation is the key to provide you with what method that you should approach in order to simplify all the process. So for this example number three, I will perform two ways of solving for x. Okay, so uh, in doing two ways for solving for x, I probably will skip the uh, step number four, which is to check the solution. Uh, if we have the left hand side equal to the right hand side. Okay, so I will let you do that uh, because it's quite lengthy. I just apply two methods for this example number three. So method number one is we are using the lowest common denominator approach. Or by looking at the denominator that you see here, if you immediately multiply uh, both sides of this equation by nine, you will get rid of the denominator on this side. You also get rid of the denominator on this side. But before we do that, we must understand that this is the same as you written your equation like this. Okay, we should understand that it should be exact same as I write it like this. Okay, so because you multiply this with this expression is the same thing as you just multiply the numerator with the expression, but you keep the denominator. So now, when it's in this form, what I'm asking you to do is you are multiply both sides by 9 right away. Okay? Multiply both sides by 9 right away. The purpose of that is you get rid of this denominator on this side. Okay? So this and this give you 3 left to stay on top, then you will have minus 5 times 2x plus 5 equal to 3 times what you have inside this bracket. So now you turn this into a linear equation, uh, a very simple one, and you just distribute the term, and then start solving for x. Okay, so... The key is here is the denominators. Okay, so the best way to get rid of your denominators, so think about that. Uh, the 9 and the 3 somehow related. Multiply both sides by 9, will immediately get rid of the denominators on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Okay, so let's continue solving for this. Uh, I should have a negative 10x here. Minus 25 equal to 21x minus 6. Okay, so the next step is to add 25 to both sides. So that and that cancel. So on this side, I should have and this and this combine should give me nineteen. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me for a second. So now I subtract twenty one x on both sides. Okay. So this and that cancel out. This should give me uh negative thirty one x equal to nineteen. And now I divide both sides by negative 31. So x is equal to uh, negative 19 over 31. All right. OK. So instead of doing the check step, I am going to start applying a different method. So this will be my method 1. And I will tell everyone that this is the easiest, okay? So the key to solve for a fractional equation is to analyze the denominators, okay?
okay? The denominator will give you a key to, to what approach that you should use to solve for uh, x. Okay, so for the second method, I am going to ask everyone to take a look at this. So I will make sure that I write everything down exactly the way it's supposed to be. So this is the exact same as the example, but this will be my method number two. I can tell you that it's a little bit more complicated to tell you that um, analyzing your denominators is the key in solving for the fractional equation. Okay, so the approach is I would take this and multiply it inside the brackets. Okay, so you see that it's a lot more complicated. I take this, multiply inside the brackets, and what do I get? I get uh, negative uh, 10x over 9 minus 25 over 9 equal to 7x over 3 subtract 2 over 3. All right, okay. So uh, do not worry about the denominators for now because you just apply all the, the simple steps to solve for this equation. That means I'm going to add 25 over 9 to both sides. Okay, so, and I see that that and that cancel. So this side of the equation, I still have this left. And I know that this side is 7x over 3. And this two combine, my answer should be um, 19 over 9. Okay, you can use your calculator. Or you can uh, have common denominator here. So that should give you uh, 9 and negative 6. Okay, you multiply the top and the bottom by 3 to get the common denominators. And negative 6 plus 25 will give you 19. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract this on both sides. So this will tell me that that and that cancel out. Okay, now adding this two, that would should keep me um, negative 31 over 9x. Okay, equal to this one is uh, 19 over 9. All right, okay. So, um, let me clarify this. Okay, if you use your calculator, perform this operation, it should give you this number. Okay, so now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 31 over 9. Okay, so this and this cancel out. So I just have x left. You can go ahead and use your calculator, but I can do it like this as well. Okay, so then what I do is I see that that and that cancel, so that gives me negative 19 over 31. Okay, so x equal to negative 19 over 31. And what I have done up here is also x equal to negative 19 over 31. So you see, this method number one is a lot more simpler because you get rid of the denominator right away. Okay, so get rid of the denominator right away. You can uh, go ahead and start the uh, simple linear algebra step. So this method number one is strongly recommended. Okay, method number two is to immediately multiply each of this inside the brackets, use our calculator to work with, and 
still the same concept apply for solving for linear equation, but it is involving fraction. Okay, so uh, if you are not familiar with the algebra uh, by get rid of the denominators, then I think uh, this method will be more suitable. However, we should start thinking of method number one because it's the easiest. All right. Now, let me move on to example number two. I mean example number four, okay? So, I would like you to make a comparison between example number three, example number four, or even example number five, okay? Um, here is my example number three. Let me show you. You see that you are having the uh, different denominator to work with. If you combine your fraction, these are totally different denominators, right? Okay, so for example number four, the key here is you combine the fraction right away because you are already have the same denominators. So the same denominator means that you can go ahead and write it as a common denominator of seven. And what do you have to do on top? Okay, so you just rewrite exactly what's supposed to be done on top. And the other side is still equal to 2. Okay, so you combine the two fractions by take 2x plus 5, subtract 3 times 4x minus 7. Now, next step is to multiply by 7 on both sides. Is to what? Get rid of the denominator right away. So in this case, I have 2x plus 5, subtract. Okay, don't forget that you are taking a negative 3 and then you distribute the term so that you open up everything inside the bracket. Don't forget you multiply a negative 3. So it will be negative 12x plus 21 equal to 14. So right away you get rid of the denominators and uh, you can uh, now go ahead and just solve for this uh, simple linear equation. Okay, so in this case, I should have uh, negative uh, 10x uh, plus uh, 26 equal to 14. So I know that this will be subtract 26 on both sides. Alright, so this and that cancel. This will give me negative 10x equal to a negative 12. Okay, divide both sides by negative 10. That and that cancel out. It should give me x equal to 12 over 10. And I need to write my uh, fraction in lowest term. So you can simplify that to 6 over 5. Okay, so that means you divide this by 2, you divide this by 2. So therefore, x is equal to 6 over 5. All right, okay. So the key in solving for fractional equation is to take a look at your denominators because that's your very first approach anyway, okay? Take a look at the, the denominator to see what method will be best for you. So in this example number four, this is the only method that I will use because it's the best way to approach uh, this kind of equation when I have the same denominator on this side and then I can combine the numerators and then I multiply both sides by 7 to get rid of it. Okay, so before I do the check step for my example number 4, I would like to show everyone uh, example number 3 one more time because what I emphasize to you here is the analysis. Okay, so sometimes when you take a look at the word uh, uh, I mean the um, the mathematical equation or any problems or mathematical problem that you have to solve. Uh, if you can analyze the questions and figure out what step to use, you already have way to complete your uh, uh, solution already. So in this case, the analysis is important because you have to know where to start. So in this question, I take a look at my denominators, 
with the understanding that this statement is the exact same as I write it here, right? Okay, so I write them both on top uh, of the denominators. So I have one fraction equal to one fraction on this side. And then you can multiply both sides by 9 to get rid of the denominators. Or some student will probably tell me, okay, I have one equal to one fraction equal to one fraction. I can go ahead and cross multiply. Then it's the exact same thing. The exact same thing. But this is the simplest method. Okay, so that is my simplest approach for fractional equation. The second approach is to uh, multiply the uh, uh, coefficient in front of this bracket inside each of this without even thinking about, oh, I have to get rid of the denominators. But this approach, you can use your calculator to work with. However, this is not recommended because uh, if you already know how to analyze your question and take a look at the denominator to see which method is the best, then you probably avoid this method. However, it's entirely up to you. Okay, so um, if you compare that with example number two, okay, I'm sorry, I have to go back a little bit more. Example number two here, you see, so I think the best approach is to just uh, isolate the x. Isolate the x, and in in the end, you just have the same uh, uh, denominator on this side to work with. Because if you start taking the lowest common denominators here, like I I did with everyone on 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 this, do you see this one is a lot more complicated? Okay, because you have one fraction with a number, and a number subtract another fraction. So the difference between example number two and example number three is that you can immediately combine and make sure that you have one fraction and one fraction on this side. You can immediately write this as one fraction. You immediately can write it as one fraction. And then you multiply both sides to get rid of the uh, denominators. 